Uh, Vera Hobhouse is the Liberal Democrat MP for Bath. Morning to you. Good morning. So is this something you hear a lot about from your constituents? Oh, absolutely. Um, the amount of constituents who come in um, and have been fined, for example, uh, is, is just extraordinary. And I wholeheartedly agree with your uh, with, with the previous um, caller that really it's a tax on the on the sick um, because you know you're coming in particularly those who are chronically ill or disabled they have have to come in quite regularly um, you know why should they be paying that charge um, when really they need treatment it is um, very unfair on people who come in um, and visit um, somebody who is um, not well, or if you're coming in and bringing somebody for emergency um, treatment, at the, mm. um, and I did that with my daughter as well the other day, and then you fiddle around with this machine in, at the RUH, they have just changed um, the system, so you're actually not quite sure whether you have, um, you have uh, uh, paid, and then afterwards you're getting a fine and you're trying to actually appeal it, and that's why a number of people came to me because they were appealing it. And all you get is threatening letters. It adds to the stress that you have either as a patient or um, as a relative of a patient. It is a very, very unfair charge. Um, at the RUH, I believe that, that, that their parking fees cover the cost of parking, ownership, maintenance, security, staffing. They are not designed to generate profit and any incidental profits from the money paid to park at the RUH has RUH are put back into patient care. Can we afford to lose that injection of cash, do you think? I think the bottom line is we need to fund the NHS properly. We shouldn't fund it by taxing those who are vulnerable already. Um, so it is very much a call on the government to actually put their mind to funding the NHS properly rather than getting a car parking ch- charge that just targets a few people and usually the most vulnerable. And just one other sort of um, logistical um, question, uh, Vera. Would it be easy to implement? Because there is that concern. Whenever you get any kind of free parking anywhere, uh, people abuse it. And so if we make all our hospital parking free, how on earth are hospitals expected to monitor that the only people parking there are people using their services? Oh, there they, they are definitely ways of making sure that this is not being abused. Um, we are obviously um, asking, first of all, for a consultation on sort of looking into the issue, how it could be made free and how to manage it. But it's definitely possible um, to make sure that people, uh, for example, uh, park for a, a reasonable amount of time, let's say three hours. Um, they would still need a ticket um, to, prompt, uh, to, to so that people don't park there all day and use it for shopping um, but all that can be managed um, it's, uh, it's it's a political will that's needed Thank you for your time this morning that is the Liberal Democrat MP for Bath, Vera Hobhouse on this bill that's due to be debated in Parliament today to abolish all hospital parking charges I'm asking you this morning whether